friends welcome to my channel my name is Wolo I am back again thank you so much for subscribing and seeing my videos thank you for all the sharing all the likes all the comments I know I have not responded to some emails please forgive me I usually respond to them during weekend that when I'm free during the week I try as much as possible to you know respond to some of them I'm so overloaded please forgive me I am very very much overloaded so let me not waste so much time and I will talk about branding so branding is in Manitoba branding is one of the communities that have been chosen for the rural and northern immigration pilot this is the season when they are supposed to start and I have done a video for Sudbury, Sault Marie and now I am doing this video for branding so if you are interested in branding I will be showing you details of the website to go to find the information you need to get yourself prepared and get yourself ready to take advantage of being an early bird and applying for jobs and getting a letter of recommendation for the rural and northern immigration pilots. So Brandon is a small community and I've, I have actually made a promise to even take a trip there. It's about two hours drive from Winnipeg. I am supposed to go there, but I've not had the time to go there. I hope to go there one of these days so that you can see the community for yourself. And I'll also be going to Altona, Rhineland, Plum Coulee, so that anybody who is applying to jobs in those areas, you can also see the communities for yourself. If I have the time, if I have the money, I will try as much as possible to go to all the communities in Canada. Canada is a very big place. Seriously, it's a very, very big place. But let me not waste so much time. So um, I'll be showing you the website where you can find the information so you can get prepared and apply. To get started, you have to come to this website, which is economicdevelopmentbranding.com. And you will find every information you need. You can see they're already welcoming you, telling you you belong in branding. So if you belong in branding, please ensure you always check on this website and then you will see our nip branding here under this under the left side of the screen if you click on print here take note of this information that you find here because the information is saying that the eligibility and evaluation criteria is under development branding eligibility requirements evaluation criteria information package an application form will be available online no later than november 30th 2019 at economic development branding.com brandon rnip so this is the information you need for rnip to find information about the employment opportunities you click on employment opportunities it will take you to the next page. You can click on e-branding. And this is the job portal for Brandon. So if you are going to search for a job for an employer, this is the job portal for Brandon. And this is where you will find information about jobs in branding if you click on immigration you will find information about industry employment this will give you information about the industries in branding and what you should be focusing on so there are manufacturing industries there are healthcare and social services retail trade education accommodation and food services and then the these other ones are um finance insurance professional real estate public administration so this is the employment by industry in branding so you need to take note of this information to have an idea of the industries that will be recruiting in branding this is a summary of what it's going to be like i've mentioned it before and the community will be assessing prospective candidates based on who best fits the economic needs of the community have a genuine employment opportunity and have the intention of staying in the community so these are these are very important um 
criteria before they can give a recommendation. The first requirement is the work experience. You need to have one year of continuous work experience in the past three years. And you should take note of what has been under underlined and that is volunteering or unpaid internships. They don't count as work experience. Self-employment also does not count as work experience in this pilot. The second requirement is the educational requirements. So it's either you have a Canadian high school diploma or you have an educational credential assessment report from a designated organization such as WES. So there's no way you can avoid it. If you have a high school, the minimum is a high school certificate. That's a high school is a secondary school certificate. You need to evaluate it for this program. The third requirement is the language requirement and you must meet the minimum language requirement based on your NOC category that applies to the job offer in the community. So if your job of, if your NOC category is a zero or an A, your job offer language requirement has to be uh, a CLB six. So please take note of the requirements for your IELTS scores. The fourth requirement is your proof of funds. So you can see a table of what the proof of funds is. The proof of fund is slightly lower than what is, is required for um, the normal express entry. You must have a genuine job offer to work in one of the participating communities. Details about how to apply to a community will be available later in 2019. We still have two months to go. That's November and December to go. For now, the only thing that you can do is to research about the different communities and find out more about them. This last slide is just a summary of what I have been talking about earlier. And if you look at the bottom, it is stated when communities are ready to begin recruiting and recommending candidates, more information will be available. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, share this video, like, and, you know, put in your comments. And I hope to communicate with you and chat with you in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.